The acoustic piano is one of the most difficult instruments to control. It has complex attacks and rich harmonics in a wide dynamic range, especially in a classical context. The MDW DRC2 allows you to adjust for this wide dynamic range and these complex attacks. Check out the video T2 of how to adjust the acoustic piano on our website. Here's an example of how one might use the MDW DRC2 native to control dynamics on an acoustic piano. This is one of the toughest things to do dynamic control on because of the complexity of the attack of the acoustic pianos. The other source that comes to mind for difficulty to control dynamics is the lead vocal. For many years, I've taken prototypes into the studio and experimented on a lead vocal and almost always I hear from a vocalist that it's easier to sing on a well-controlled headphone feed. And there's no better way to control dynamics than a DRC2 into the headphones of a lead vocal. We're told by vocalists that they hear better, they can hear their pitch better, and it's more comfortable. They don't have to listen as loud. Again, we'd ask you to check out T3 Basic Vocals on our website to give you an idea of how to set up the TRC2 for vocals. Here's a track I did some years ago. Great singer, wide dynamics. The other difficult to control source are live drums. It's a combination of complex dynamics, very sharp peaks, and wide dynamic ranges. The use of a DRC2 on a snare drum is a good example. Traditionally, one would take a compressor in line and extend the attack time to get that sharp attack on a snare drum. Unfortunately, it always sounds exactly the same. It's the same artifact and the same dynamics. The ability of the DRC2 to effectively control peaks on a snare drum is unique. By means of the peak control, one can adjust the size of a peak, and by means of the timing control, one can adjust the shape of the peak. And one can adjust the time of this attack using the timing control. Again, video T4 on our website will give you some ideas of how to approach drums and dynamic range control. Here are some ideas on how you might use the MDW DRC2 native for drum buses. It is, after all, the holy grail of compressors. I'll start by playing a track, and then I'll dial in some settings from default on the DRC2.